Let's go get Techna! Woohoo! This is going to be a massive failure. Hello, everyone. Oh, no, no, I don't say that. Not me being fake. Ciao, all, Thomas here. Um, my brain is dead. Yeah, I know, it's been a while since I've done a Winx video, and also content has slowed. I don't know. I feel like this year has just been like a slow decay of my sanity. Like, started off real strong, on a real high note, just like, I'm so excited for all these projects, and now I'm just kind of sitting here staring into the void like but do i have the motivation to do any of it because i kind of want i that that, that mm, mm, mm. i don't know i i was just watching like ash's video on like tortured poets department and like when she got to the song that was like i can do it even with a broken heart and she was talking about like i may feel like shit but i'm still gonna like come out here and do my thing like you know ash was saying it taylor was saying it and now i'm like you know what I can too. I may be mentally vacant right now. My brain might be set to low voltage. I might look upon the world and maybe wish I was dead a little bit, but I can still do what I need to do. I might not do it well, but I can try. I don't know. Like real talk, a lot of things have just been kind of eaten at my brain. Like I've been working on like, you know, my next book and then I'm working on another book and I can't help but just feel while I'm working on these things and also trying to balance YouTube that, you know, none of it matters, that no one cares, and that my future is doomed. You know, it, it gets to a, an NB. And then you kind of get caught in this paralysis where it's like nothing you do matters and you just kind of, mm, you're like, what is it all for? What's it all for? And then you're like, oh, yeah, to pay bills. Anyhow, I'm just sitting down here kind of forcing myself to, like, finish the Wink season three commentaries or at least the next step of it. I'm just trying to take it one step at a time because, like, if I think about how much of is left, I'm going to stop again. <laughs> I don't know, because y'all, some of y'all have wanted this to be finished. Many of y'all are clamoring for other stuff that I just haven't felt a desire to work on truthfully. But, like, you know, y'all deserve something. I don't know if any of this will resonate or if I'm just going to sound like a freaking crazy person who needs to be locked away immediately. But, you know, I'm... We're going to try, I guess. Anyhow, we're going to start with the Island of Dragons. Because when we last left off, the Wink said do revenge and do crime and do violence. And I, I support that message. And now Bloom is on Pyros, the Island of Dragons, to get stronger or die. Great options. I feel like there's somewhere in there it is a metaphor about my mental health right now. It's too much effort to decipher it. The Forkid score really knows how to set, like, the tone properly. The Forkid score does not get enough credit. Also, I really like the design of Pyros. I really miss the more abstract designs of, like, the first three seasons. Like, that green sky against this jungle atmosphere. I can just feel the frickin' heat and humidity. <laughs> Oh, and the second she lands, she's attacked by goddamn dragons. Of course she is. I feel like there's a metaphor in here about me being scared to make a tortured poets department video because I'm scared that my feelings will get me crucified immediately. Um, anyway, I love the design of the dragons. I like the shapes that they use for like their anatomy. I like the silhouettes. I kind of like the, the very thin like torsos with the like over exaggerated like arms. They look like horrifying beasts. You know, they don't look very sagely like the great dragon does. These look like animals that will fuck you up. Surprise, motherfucker. Plum is so cute. <laughs> She's like, hey, girl, hey. Fireball. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> she does it to Icy. She does it to savage dragons. It's a good time. <laughs> Oh no, she forgot that she had wings. That's gonna be a running theme in these episodes, actually. I know how to find Techna! Timmy? Oh, Timmy's in... Well, I don't want to say denial, because we all know Techna's alive. But, you know, I feel bad for him. Because, like, they're all acting like Techna, like, legit died when it's like, no, she just got yeeted to another dimension. I don't know why we're 
not trying to find her. I mean, I do know why, because drama, but still. The look on Sky and Brandon's face is like, <laughs> like they're aghast by his hope. Shut the fuck up, nerd. It's kind of amazing. Sorry, Timmy. I have to study for that, um, advanced rescue test. You are a lying liar! The fact that Riven's like, feelings? Yeah, not my department at all. Riven is like, I'm part of the problematic men department. Not surprised that Brandon broke curfew for Stella, though. He would. Icon. Legend behavior. I really miss the tricks hanging out in their casual outfits. It makes them feel like actual people and not just, you know, caricatures. Trying to become the greatest wizard of all time is demanding. Why don't you go and take over another world? It'll relax you. Tired. Mm, yeah, I get that, Valtor. I feel that so deep. Except that Valtor's idea of relaxation is destroying an entire planet. And mine is probably just like wandering YouTube and just letting my brain wander off into the sands of nothingness. I can't believe what a suck up you are. Girl, you're all suck ups. You're all pick me's. Though to be fair, if Valtor is the man, I get it. You two are practically throwing yourselves at him just to get a little bit of attention. Says the one he passed on. Well, better Valtor than Maddie Healy. Go die, like right now. I'm throwing so much Tortured Poet shade. I did actually kind of like the album. I just have very mixed feelings on it overall, which I will presumably talk about at some point. Unless I don't. I've been known to say I'm working on things and then abandon them and then cry. <laughs> you, you must find your dragon. What dragon? Your dragon. Hi, Daphne. Where the fuck have you been? Oh, as soon as you appear, you leave. Okay, sure. Oh my God. Buddy is so fucking cute. I'm Buddy. Hi, Buddy. I'm Bloom. Wait, is that Bloom's voice but like higher pitched? I can't tell. If it is, I actually kind of like it. Like, I hated the way it was done in the Nick dub with the pixies, but here it's actually kind of cute. Maybe because I actually like Buddy as a character. Like, like how can you not love him? Like, the cute anime eyes, the weird crocodile face with the, the little cute dragon body, and the little wings. And also, he's just the most cute shade of green. I came here to try to get stronger. How are you gonna do that? I don't know. I'm literally dying. Tekna's IQ is 150. She excels at math and is an honorary member of the Magical Technology Society. Who the hell is this? I don't even know who this is. The computer's like, I can't do anything with that. I... I don't know who this bitch is. If you're trying to define Tekna's emotional essence, don't you think you should be a little more, well, emotional? The ultimate challenge for this dweeb. Actually, no, not for any man. Any man. It's like, oh, I have to describe emotionally. Um, but emotions are gay, except anger. I think you should try to get more in touch with your deep emotions. You know, like with your true innermost feelings. How am I supposed to do that? Um, I don't know. Sit with your feelings? Men really act like it's a whole freaking labyrinthine challenge to figure out how they feel about something. And I'm just sitting here like, just maybe I'm not one to talk, actually. <laughs> I mean, I understand my feelings. It's just I can't fucking escape them. And then I'll never tell you what I'm feeling. Never. You can't prove anything. Okay, the ponchos are cute. Why are they the color of melted pizza? Fuck, I want pizza now. If a monkey falls in a fountain, does it make a sound? <laughs> Let's find out, shall we? Oh, Valtor, you cunty bitch. They have simian ninjas? Okay. I will admit I kind of live for this. This is nonsense and I'm here for it. You know it's serious when Valtor ditches the coat. Oh, there goes the fountain. It was so pretty. Stupid songbird! Oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, great. Another place ruined. Oh no, attacked by your own furniture. The horror. And he's just super calm as everything is on fire around him. <laughs> That's the level of mental health I aspire to. Is the lesson that I have to ruin lives to feel good? That's an alarming message. We were wondering if you could help Timmy get in touch with his innermost feelings. Why would he want to do that? Are you homosexual? <laughs> Why would he want to do that? That sounds gay. <laughs> okay, that was, that was funnier than it should have been. I will admit it's kind of iconic that they admit that women are usually better at this because men are taught to never ever acknowledge their emotions because if they do it's gay timmy darling try and think of something a little bit more specific get specific 
Timmy. Speak like you are speaking the lyrics of a Taylor Swift song. Speak like you are speaking directly from Red. And I love that she laughs at all my jokes, even though I know my jokes are never funny. And I also love the freckles on her ankles. I... Oh. Oh. He... Uh, all 34 of them. <laughs> I find that disturbing on so many levels. I'm not even going to touch that one. I, I, no, I refuse. I No, no, no. We're just going to focus on the key things. Look, it's got a pulse. I just thought of a horrible joke. I'm going to go for it. It has a pulse, unlike techno. <laughs> I'm going to the hell. I'm a really terrible person. How do I become a dragon? You act really mean and yell a lot. You must strut like a fierce dragon. And I mean fierce like the gay way. Strut like you're strutting down a runway. Strut like you're Stella. This is making me realize lions are probably the closest thing we have to dragons. They look like rhino beetles and I don't, I don't want to fuck with them. I, they might kill me. <laughs> Yeah, girl, walk like you're going to fuck some shit up. Eat like one. Am I going to have to eat bugs? I think I'm actually going to feed. You want to be a dragon? I want the good parts of being a dragon. Oh, of course, the nice food is behind fucking thorns. The fact that he's so unbothered by this. Jesus. Well, to be fair, he has dragon scales and she has frail human skin. Ugh. Hate, hate it, hate it. Wait, she didn't even get a single thorn in her arm. I mean, good for her. I don't want her to suffer, but like, how did you? Okay, whatever. Clap if you think she should suffer. Next, you've got to learn to roar like a dragon. The key to a good dragon roar is that you have to feel it inside. It's like screaming or crying or laughing. Or writing an album about the way your life sucks. That too. When I'm screaming at the sky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is actually really wholesome and cute. This is so complicated. Sending an IM on a realm berry would have been much quicker. <laughs> Not a realm berry. Remember when blackberries were relevant? Ooh, girl. I just remember that whole era of phones. Ooh, different times. I feel old. I feel decrepit. Lord knows I feel depressed. You are glowing. I achieved inner peace. I envy that glow. Huh? Pastels? Ew! <laughs> Pastels? But Debbie... What? Pastels? Get out of my house! Okay, but Stormy, that kind of just shows me your fashion illiteracy because those are not pastels. Those are actually quite saturated. Something to protect you from negative energy. I thought you could use it around those two. Ooh, the shade. The shade. Not a mood bracelet. Ooh, girl. Then again, she does have the 70s, you know, hippie glasses, so. Or were hippies a 60s thing? Close enough. I'm tired. Make fun of me all you want in the comments, so long as you're watching the ads. You became the lightning? Okay, that was cool as hell. I'm just sad because he never actually uses that in the, any of the future episodes. Like, not once. And I'm like, that could actually be a very useful power. Fire Mountain. It has the fiercest dragons on the island. And it has tar pits where hundreds of creatures have disappeared. Oh, look, the lava spells an H for hell. Because we're in hell. Because look at this. Oh, no. Oh, no. The dragon is the mountain. We found smog. Okay, but looking at this thing, how did you accidentally step on it? It stands out quite drastically from its environment. Come on. Fucking idiot. Oh, you ruined it. Snap. Okay, you you have this death coming. It has every right to shred your intestines like a pinata. Okay, buddy did nothing wrong, though. Like, leave him alone. Oh, not the bitch slap into the lake of tar. Ugh. Ah! I can't fly. My wings. Yeah, that's not going to work. You know, I really like that trope of the earlier seasons when, you know, something would happen to their wings to make them unable to fly. You know, like the dark rain on Solaria or like the shadow monster, like webs with Aisha. Girl, you got to tap into your inner dragon. You got to get mean, girl. You must get violent. Embrace violence. <laughs> You go. 
go. I think this is the first time she summoned the dragon since the season one finale. Ooh, and she's glowing like she did in season one too. It's been so long she's, since she's done that. You should be. You did it! <laughs> You're a real dragon now. Oh, you know, I like to think maybe it's because she was on that high of fighting the tricks. But then after that, she kind of lost touch with herself because she was trying to figure out who she was. And it's only just now she's tapping into the dragon's power because she's actually finding herself. And I love that for her. I'm sorry it didn't work. Yeah, so sorry. Oh, I mean, you guys tried like... I can get you into the royal spa. Girl, are you sure you can do that? Because you're currently, you know, banished from your own home world. You're, you're not even a princess. You had that title yanked from you. <laughs> We're a perfect fit. Oh, they're so cute. Most underrated couple, hands down. I love them so much. I will say I kind of miss the original song there. Like, never be alone. Don't be afraid. I'll be right there. That one was cute. I, I I really like that one. I'm here. Help me. Help me. Oh, of course, the second he falls asleep, that's when the ghost of Techno starts wailing. Ugh. If I were her, and the second I finally got through, and you fall asleep, if I die in the Omega Dimension, I'm haunting your ass for revenge. I'm like, the fuck you mean you didn't come looking for me the second I went missing? I'm your dragon. And now... I'm home. And I'm home. Would never run with you. Oh, I'm your dragon. Yeah, and then Buddy kind of disappears in the next episode. So I'm assuming Buddy is kind of like some kind of manifested version of Bloom's psyche or power. I found my dragon. <laughs> oh, and then Bloom dies at the end. <laughs> So that was a cute episode. Um, I'm really glad that Bloom is finding herself and her power. Buddy is adorable. You know, it's kind of nice to have Bloom struggling, you know, with her powers and with what she's supposed to be doing. I really like it when Bloom is insecure because it makes her feel deeply relatable as a character. Timmy embracing his emotions in order to find Tecna is really sweet. That's really um, he and Tecna's story for the first three seasons. It's like getting more in touch with their feelings. And this is like the ultimate test of all of the growth they've had to undergo. And Valtor finding inner peace. Good for him, but I'm jealous. I am very jealous. And now we move on to episode 16. I wanted to take a break, but I know if I do take a break, this is never getting done. So we're doing it right now. Red Fountain. Red Fountain's design is so underrated. I mean, the castle in season one was cool, but I love the sci-fi like floating garden vibe that it has in season two. It literally looks like a giant robotic flower. I'm here. Help me. Help me. Okay, good. So you didn't just barely miss Tecna. Thank you, God. Oh, girl, that's Signal. Who's your provider? AT&T? <laughs> oh, no, that's actually sad because the T's stand for Tecna and Timmy, and I refuse to associate them with AT&T. She's been trying to get through. She knows we've been looking for her. Oh, I love them. Timmy's so excited, and I, I, it's so nice to ha see him having hope. And in general, it's really nice to see them all care about Tecna because it's like a reminder that, yeah, she does matter when the characters care more about Tecna than the actual freaking company that makes the goddamn show. If I were Tecna and I finally got to go home after what I endured, I would just take a bath and then nap for like a month. And I'd be like, no one bother me. I'm going to like reunite with all of you and I'm going to fucking sleep, and get my energy back and pamper myself. There will be no world saving shenanigans for at least a month. You hear that, Valtor? You better not fuck with shit. So that's what's going on at Red Fountain. How very interesting. But of course, Valtor is fucking with shit because it's Valtor. He lives to cause problems. I think we've established that ruining lives is his way of self-care, which is deeply fucking concerning. It makes for good content. I find it very amusing and kind of hot, but you know. <laughs> I hope you've got a good reason for waking us out of our deep sleep, Valtor. Yeah, they were busy hanging upside down in a cave somewhere. <laughs> Look, I feel like shit. Let me throw, let me throw shade, okay? And you want us to go and ruin their party? No, what I want you to do is go and deal with Bloom. It's the way this man cannot leave this fucking 17-year-old girl alone. Like, someone call Chris Hansen. 
<sighs> and he can't even be bothered to do it himself, the frickin' coward. Ugh. Why aren't you coming with us? We wanted to go, but they asked us to stay. We're on high alert. With Baltor around, they don't want the whole crew gone at once. I mean, I get that, but I'm gonna be real. What's that red fountain that he would give a shit about? Y'all don't exactly practice a lot of magic for him to steal. Yay, we should have done this immediately, but yay. Although it is funny, because they I think they cut, either they cut this shot from the four kids version or it just wasn't like done lord knows it wasn't done in the final version because there's this bit where they're kind of walking in midair and nothing is there the owl was supposed to be there because you know the owl is you know rendered in 3d and it's put into the 2d environment like elfia is a 3d set too but for some reason the owl just never got added in and no one animating this realized it so it's just the girls walking into the air for no reason. It's very funny. It's very amusing. Oh, uh, poor Bloom. You find your inner dragon and then he pieces the fuck out because you found oneness and wholeness or whatever. And then your immediate reward is to get assaulted by this dragon. Like, I hate it here. I hate it here. I hate it here. Lord knows my destination would not be a fucking island of dragons. No. Where would I go? Hmm. Actually, where is a good time for a gay to go? I don't know if there is one. I would say ancient Greece because, you know, they were gay as fuck, but they also weren't the nicest people and they also did not have Wi-Fi. So mm. how are you feeling better than I have in a really long time? Ugh, I wish I knew what that was like to me. <laughs> not all the characters have a better mental health than me. Will all this talk make it into the final version? I don't know. Although if I were to take it out, half the runtime would be gone. I miss my friends, and I miss my school. I want to go home. I want to go home, home. I want to go home. Oh, and yeah, she can't she can't go home because she doesn't have a way to, like, teleport out. Like, she would need Tecna's portal device or Stella Scepter or a spaceship, but she doesn't have anything. So she's just kind of stranded here. And I kind of love that. Uh, more limitations, please. When caught in an earthquake, one should make sure not to panic. Ah! Y'all have earthquake drills at Alfia? Oh no, not the wind. <laughs> not the wind being like, you will go into the abyss and you will like it. And I'm gonna hit you with this stick. The wind is rude. Oh, wow, okay. Um, apparently Maya went to rodeo camp. I wonder if it was the same one that Stella went to. Anyway, hi, Maya. Here, have some water. It will make you feel better. Three hours later. Let's get you some water. It was all a lie. One of the fan favorite characters and honestly, Mood. I love her. I love her design. I love her vibe. She's great. I'm also noticing the weird kind of like markings on her head. And I'm like, is she is she a dragon lady? Is that what we're doing? Is she a dragon woman? Because if so. I'm on board. I want more dragon people. Also, oh my God, is that Carrie Karanen? <gasps> and so far I found my inner dragon and that's good and all, but I'm still not strong enough. And I don't know what else to do to make that happen. Me trying to figure out what the fuck to do with anything. Open your heart and your mind. I was told to close my eyes and open my heart, but okay. That's how it starts. But you must reach within and connect to your inner strength. And how does one do that, my, my dear? To me, that felt kind of vague. But okay. You want to ask me about your enchantix? That did not feel vague. Okay, Jesus. Even though there's no one left from my realm, is it still possible for me to earn it? Okay, once again, I will be the one person to say I like this limitation on her enchantix. Yes. Is it weird that you have to save someone specifically from your home world in terms of the world building? Yes. However, in terms of story and conflict, it's great because it's a roadblock for Bloom to have to overcome. You know, it adds to this feeling of her being this insecure late bloomer who now has a roadblock keeping her from becoming the one thing she's always wanted to be, a fairy. And it's another reminder for her that her birth home and birth family are gone. And even when she does get her enchantix, it comes with some bugs. Because like, I'm not gonna lie, I don't wanna see her in her magic wings for the entire season and also the entire first movie. No, I refuse. No, you will not do that to me. I want the aesthetic of enchantiques. I don't know why I pronounced those words the way I did, but I did. You must trip balls as I wave my scepter. I'm like, Maya, what did you put into her drink? Okay, I kind of get it. It's kind of like, you know, being 
fully aware and alert and learning how to focus your energy. Okay, I kind of like that. Why did I say it like that also? What's happening? This is such a missed outfit opportunity. My faux fur coat would have been a divine choice. Actually, yeah. How are y'all not freezing to death? Like y'all admit you're cold, but like you're not bundled up. Ugh, this could have been a great chance for some cute winter wear. We were robbed. Ugh, imagine having to fly your spacecraft through the frickin' Omega dimension. I, ugh. This seems almost worse than driving through the city. Hello, somebody put a shirt on that guy. If you're gonna freeze some dude for eternity, at least try to make him look good. God, I love Stella. <laughs> Cause honestly, mood. Ew. It's the transmitting device that Tecna used. But where is Tecna? Probably dead somewhere. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Timmy, but this is gonna go so south so quickly. This is going to be a massive failure. Oh, shit. Has Bloom been lifted? Oh my god. Oh, Maya said, prove it, bitch. Let's see how you do on round two. Oh, she caught herself. Good job, girl. That's how you do it, Bloom. I'm not sure what that was. Was her fire like. Was that Maya's fire or was that Bloom's fire like threatening to overpower her? Like, what was that? I still don't know. When you stop being afraid, you can do anything you set your mind and heart to. Okay, that advice that like stop being afraid, like that's an option. That That's not how that works. Like when you're being courageous, it's not that you're no longer afraid. It's that you're acting in spite of your fear. Well, fear is a part of courage. Oh, whatever. It's fine. I don't... <sighs> I'm too tired for this. Techna's smart and she's strong, and it looks like we've got some company. <gasps> oh, good. It's Star Wars rejects. I will freely insult them because they're assholes and I hate them. I've always hated them. They make for good conflict, but I personally have wanted to punch every last one of them for the last however, however many years. I don't want to think about the number. I don't want to feel old. <laughs> You know, at least Helia finally gets to be relevant and do something. It's not a lot, but it's something. Oh, now they decide to transform. Okay. Even though they're not really going to do all that much. I'm so upset that at this fight, because like the Winx barely did anything and just cut their asses handed to them. And I'm like, y'all have Enchantix and y'all are getting your shit wrecked like this. Can't have sound without light. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. Can't have sound without light. Yeah, you can't. Okay, whatever. I, I I don't care. And what was Stella's attack even supposed to do? Like, blind them? Because it didn't seem to work. Sunbeam shower! Okay, James. I don't like stepping in stuff, and I don't like pink. I think you should die. I think I should kill you. I'm not even going to begin to unpack that. That was a hate crime. That was a hate crime. And so is this. <laughs> That's so very, very sad. Does anyone remember that one Winx Abridged series? You know, they I, I i know they were really problematic, but it was the 2000s. What do you want from us? But it was like falling when we all have wings. <laughs> I, I have unlocked memories for myself. It was a different era. It was a different era. Was it a better era? Fuck no. No era is good. That's the lesson I've learned. Oh, They're done. <laughs> Everyone died. The end. That didn't help at all. Well, I guess everyone died. Okay. I'm just like, the winks fell off a cliff into the darkness when they all had wings. <sighs> every magical place and every magical being has a unique essence, and this contains the essence of Pyros. It is very pretty. I immediately know this is merch, and it, as it should be. I do love that thing of like every magical creature and being in place has its own essence and you can tap into that. I wish they did more with that. That really needs to be a fucking counter. Oh my God. I feel like I'm getting there. I just wish I had my Enchantix. I feel her, except for me, instead of Enchantix, it's mental wellness. Bitch, me too? The fuck? If I knew this place was so far away, I would have used a portal. Stop your witching. 
Oh yeah, I forgot Stormy can do teleporting still. I mean, I know the show will forget it, but you know. Stop your watching. Breathe into your winks. Okay. I still really like that Four Kids calls magic winks. Like, oh, I, I see what I did there. Oh brother, this guy stinks! But you know what I mean. I really like that winks has its own like mystical term. I, I think that's cute. I really like that. Cause then it's like, everybody has winks. Yeah, I get it. It's cute that Bloom invented the word herself, but like, I don't know. I guess it's a matter of preference. Ew, they're meditating. Pastels, ew. Ew, they're meditating. <laughs> You're about to get your little Zen booty kicked. Zen booty kick. Okay, that, that, was, that was cute. Lightning Zen booty kick. <laughs> Electric booty kick. Ah! Ah! You're so getting voted off this island. Was that a Total Drama Island reference? I'm going to assume it was. Oh, a fire twister. That's a good one. I see fumbling around like she's drunk is iconic. Try a lot harder than that. Icy's like, fuck that one tree in particular. Ugh, I love the four kids tricks so much. They're so mean. I mean, the tricks are always mean, but like these ones are specifically so mean girls. I love it. I believe I've got the power within me. All you gotta do is believe in yourself. And everything will change. I've had enough of Baltor. Oh, freaking period. Amen. Bloom is like, I am so sick of that man ruining everything, ruining my friends' lives, taking people I love away from me. Because, like, he took her parents, he took Sky, he took Tecna, he's ruined Stella and Aisha's lives. He's, like, indirectly nearly killed so many people she loves. Like, ooh, she's pissed as she should be. Yeah, a lot of people see this as a cop out. I actually really like it. I like this for her because we get to see her beautiful enchantics. I'm obsessed with the design. I love her hair. I love her wings. I love the tear dress. Lisa Feverall is how I learned that actually has a name <laughs> because I I am kind of fashion illiterate. Ew, this is my island, which is. Yeah, blow them the fuck up, girl. Oh, not Bloom losing her wings as she falls. I know it's an animation error, but it'd be so funny if that was part of it being incomplete. Her wings just noped out once in a while. <laughs> it's like having to upgrade to a premium service on a streaming service. Wow, what, what was that sentence? Oh, brother! And it's like you have to upgrade to a higher plan to get wings. <laughs> you are finding yourself and there is nothing more powerful than that. Oh, that's truth though. Because once you understand yourself and how to heal yourself, sure, shit can rock you. Clearly shit's rocking me. But you can also learn how to move through it. And sure, you will feel like shit. It will still be like moving through fucking knee deep sludge swamp water. But you will get out the other side happier. You will get through it. Wait, has this entire journey just been me like restoring my mental health through Winx Club? I hope you all find this enlightening because right now I'm just having a very strong what the fuck moment <laughs> anyhow um i hope y'all enjoyed this um i'm gonna go make dinner for myself uh goodbye <laughs>